There are millions of people in the United States with blood disorders. Hematologists are physicians who specialize in the treatment of these conditions. At Comprehensive Cancer Center at Desert Regional Medical Center, we spoke to Dr. Elber Camacho, who gives us an overview of the more common blood disorders. In general, blood disorders are divided into malignant and benign. It, the benign disorders are those uh, anemias, such as iron deficiency anemias, or deficiencies of other vitamins, and also the overproduction, possibly of red cells and platelets. The malignant disorders are those in which uh, there is abnormal production of cells, such as leukemias, lymphomas, and multiple myeloma. Anemia may be an indicator of a more serious problem. Anemia is when a patient does not have sufficient red cells. It can be that the patient is destroying them, or the patient is losing them, or not producing enough. When you don't have enough uh, uh, red cells, one of the main concerns, are you losing cells, red cells through the GI tract from a tumor, either in the stomach or the intestine? So it is very important for anemias not to be dismissed, and especially in an adult, if they have anemia in which they don't have enough red cells and don't have enough iron, an evaluation for possible uh, tumor in the GI tract must be undertaken. The other anemias in which either the patient is not absorbing enough iron or is not receiving enough vitamins, of course, should be treated by the replacement of the iron or of the appropriate vitamin. Therefore, the patient has to be tested extensively to make sure one does knows the source and the cause of the anemia. The opposite of an anemia are patients who make too many red cells. These patients uh, have an abnormality in the stem cell in the bone marrow that makes red cells. A change occurs in those stem cells in which the bone marrow uh, continues to produce red cells without the feedback mechanisms to control the production. So the red cells become higher and higher and the blood could become too thick and in that way possibly cause a blood clot or a stroke. Dr. Camacho discusses blood conditions in children. Most anemias in children are secondary to some type of vitamin, dietary, or iron deficiency. The most important thing to recognize in children, if they're anemic, to make sure there's not a malignant process such as leukemia. Leukemia is the malignant and uncontrolled production of white cells. Patients, both children and adults, can have a transient increase in white cells, which is secondary to an infection, be it bacterial or viral. But if this uh, increase in white count is maintained without any infection, it is because the body is producing too many white cells. And then one has to do a bone marrow evaluation to determine what kind of cells are being overproduced. Treating leukemia is now more successful than ever. Presently, leukemia in children can be cured in over 90% of the cases. In adults, meaning uh, persons that are older than 18 to 20 years of age, it is more difficult to treat, but it's still there can be a high rate of cure rate with um, aggressive and effective chemotherapy. Screenings for blood disorders are recommended for your annual examination. There's no specific rule about blood tests, but there is a suggestion that everyone should have a yearly physical examination and blood test, and a complete blood count should be part of that yearly evaluation.